Hey everyone, we're gonna make some potato soup today. First thing you're gonna do is wash your potatoes. Make sure you wash them really well. Um, then you don't actually have to peel them if you don't want to. Um, put them in some boiling water. If you're like me and you didn't grab enough, grab some more. <laughs> Chop those up, add those to the boiling water. And then whatever potatoes you have uh, left over from washing, just uh, roast those with some carrots the next day. Then boil it up, make sure you're stirring them. And then you're gonna check and see if they are fork tender, which just means that when you prick them with a fork, the potato slides off the fork. So this big one here, um, it wasn't quite ready. So I just let them cook for another minute. And then you're going to strain the potatoes. Um, be careful, the steam is quite hot. And um, yeah, so after you have strained the potatoes, you don't want to rinse them with water or anything. Just put them right back in the same pot because the, the heat from the pot is very useful. So add some butter and some milk. Doesn't look like a lot of milk, but we will add more. Um, I don't know why I took that picture. <laughs> add some sour cream and then your salt, your pepper, and this garlic spread from Costco. It is really yummy. Also some grated Parmesan cheese and it will look like this. Then grab yourself uh, some sort of device to mash the potatoes. Um, I'm using this handheld blender thing because I was feeling a bit lazy, <laughs> but if you only have a potato masher, it totally works just as well. Um, sometimes I prefer to use a masher, but this was just easier. So um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got every potato. Then I grabbed my bacon crumbles and I sauteed those until they were crispy only takes like not even five minutes and then add some more milk to your soup and then add a little bit of the crumbled bacon but um, you're also going to want to reserve some of the bacon for this add some cheese yum and when you take your first bite you want to make sure you have bacon and the cheese as well Mm, it's so good. What I don't have though, green onions. If you had green onions, you just chop them up, sprinkle them on top. Heaven! So if you want to reheat your potato soup, um, it's gonna kind of look like just like super creamy mashed potatoes. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab yourself a pot, you're gonna reheat it in the pot, and you're gonna add more milk. So it becomes more of a, a soup consistency again. And you're also gonna to want to uh, get your bacon and saute that a little bit. Grab yourself some cheese. You're gonna to wanna to grate that and basically start all over. It doesn't look pretty, but I promise it'll be <laughs> delicious. You just gotta keep mixing on a medium-high heat and you'll be good to go. It's even better today. Yum. Let me know if you try it and subscribe if you want to see more of these types of videos too. Bye.